Developmental psychology is a field of study that focuses on how people grow and change throughout their lifetime. It examines the physical, cognitive, emotional, social and behavioural changes that occur as people progress through the different stages of development. It examines the interplay between nature and nurture. The field emerged in the late 19th and early 20th century with pioneering work by G. Stanley Hall and Arnold Jessel. Many other important figures in developmental psychology have proposed different models to explain how people progress through various stages of physical, cognitive, emotional, social and behavioural development. These are the leading development psychology theories. Jean Piaget's theory of cognitive development outlines four stages. Each stage describes how children's thinking becomes more complex and sophisticated as they age. Piaget's theory emphasizes the importance of active exploration and interaction with the environment in shaping cognitive development. It suggests that children are not passive recipients of information but actively construct knowledge as they interact with the environment. Eric Erickson proposed a theory of psychosocial development, which suggests that individuals experience eight stages of development through their life. Each stage presents specific challenges that must be overcome to progress to the next stage. These stages include trust mistrust, autonomy versus shame and doubt, initiative versus guilt, industry versus inferiority, identity versus role confusion, intimacy versus isolation, generativity versus stagnation, and integrity versus despair. Successfully resolving each stage's challenge leads to the development of personality traits and attitudes that influence an individual's behavior and interactions with the world. Sigmund Freud's psychosexual development theory proposes that a human development occurs in five distinct stages, each following on a specific erogenous zone. During each stage, the individual's focus shifts from one erogenous zone to another, and their development is influenced by how they resolve the conflicts specific to that stage. John Bowlby's attachment theory proposes that infants develop emotional bonds with their primary caregiver, which serves as a foundation for their later social and emotional development. It identifies four different attachment styles that develop based on the quality of the relationship between the infant and their caregiver during the first few years of life. These attachment styles include secure, anxious, ambivalent, avoidant, and disorganized. Albert Bandura's social learning theory proposes that learning occurs through direct experience and observation and imitation of others. Bandura argues that individuals learn by observing the behavior of others and the consequences that follow, whether positive or negative. Developmental psychology has seven stages, and these stages are various periods of growth and development that a person goes through in their life. These stages are often divided into prenatal development, early childhood, middle childhood, adolescence, early adulthood, middle adulthood, and late adulthood. You can use several techniques in developmental psychology to help your patient get the best outcomes possible. Here are 10 of these strategies. There is observational learning, which is learning to behave through observing others, play therapy, which utilizes play as a way for children to express their emotions and work through problems, cognitive behavioral therapy, which focuses on changing negative thought patterns and behaviors by identifying and challenging irrational beliefs, attachment-based therapy, which aims to build healthy attachments between a child and caregiver through empathetic communication and attunement, family therapy, which involves the entire family to address relationship dynamics and communication patterns, art therapy, which involves using art materials as a way for individuals to express themselves and explore their emotions, parenting classes, which provides education and support to parents on child development, effective discipline strategies, and positive communication techniques, social skills training, which teaches children and adolescents how to communicate effectively and interact with others, mindfulness techniques involving teaching individuals to be present at the moment and cultivate awareness of their thoughts and feelings, and behavioral modification. This focuses on changing behavior through positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement, or punishment. To learn more about developmental psychology and how it can be used in your practice, read our guides in our Care Patron platform, which you can find through the link in our description. Check out our guides playlist to learn more about topics similar to this. Thank you for watching our video at Care Patron. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. If you would like to see more videos like these, subscribe to our Care Patron channel or click on one of our recommended videos.